With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So we are given with a question which says there are four particles each of mass capital M and equidistance from each other move along a circle of radius capital R under action of their mutual gravitational attraction. So we need to find speed of each particle. Alright, so let's try to first visualize the given situation. So we can see over here, uh, we have shown four masses which are equidistant from each other and moving in a circular path. So uh, let's suppose we first try to calculate the force on uh, any one of the particle or mass. So let's suppose we are interested in calculating force on this mass. So we can say, first we will try to draw some construction over here. Alright. So, uh, if you consider this mass, so forces that is been acting on this mass can be written as this angle will be 45 degree by symmetry. This angle will also be 45 degree. Alright, because these two are radius, so we can say this angle has to be 45 and 45. Alright, so from here we can say now uh, the force on this mass due to this mass will be in this direction. Alright, that has been uh, attractive force. And due to this mass, the force on this mass will be in this direction and due to this mass, it will be in this direction. Alright, so let's suppose it has to be F1, F2 and F3. So total force on this mass we can write. We will calculate speed of this particle only. So for it we can say, we can write total force that is net force can be written as F1 plus F2 plus F3. That is gravitational force we are talking about. So F1 can be straight away written as Gm and here it can be uh, clearly seen as we can see it will be Gm. Uh, we can say first uh, here it is F2. So we can say uh, the component if we resolve of F1 so it will be one vertical and one horizontal and similarly for F3 also one vertical one horizontal. So a uh, vertical component of F1 and F3 will get cancelled or each other. So what we are left with is we can write for F1 and F F3 together we can say it can be written as 2 F cos 45 because of symmetry we can say F1 and F3 will be the same so we can say 2 F cos 45 we are taking it and for F2 we can straight away say F2 uh, is acting on this so we can write it as G M square by the distance between 2 is 2R that is equal to radius uh, diameter. So from here if we solve it further so we can say 2 into F can be written as now uh, G M square divided by this distance will be uh, so this distance we can write by symmetry all the distance will be same so we are taking this distance so it comes out to be by Pythagoras we can apply so it comes out to be R root 2 so if R root 2 square into cos 45 that is 1 by root 2 plus uh, g m square by 4 r square all right so from here we can say finally uh, the net force that has been acting on this particle will be uh, we can take g m by g m square by r square as common out so what we are left with is uh, we can write so here it can be written as 1 by root 2 plus 1 by 4. So this is the value of net force we are getting. And uh, now we can say since this particle uh, is moving under a circle. So there must be a centripetal force that has been acting on this. So we can write uh, this force will be uh, provide. This will this force will provide necessary centripetal force for circular motion. Therefore we can say F net will be equals to mv square by r so if we compare it so we can say uh, mv square by r will be equals to gm square by r square and here it can be written as 4 plus root 2 by 4 root 2 all right so from here we can see m 1m get cancelled 1r will get cancelled so we are left with v square will be equals to gm and here it can be written as uh, 4 plus root 2 by 4 root 2. So if we take the root, we can say, and here 1 r also has been left. So v will be equals to under root of gm by r 
and here it can be written as and from 1 by 4 1 by 2 uh, can be taken out from the root so we are left with gm by r and here we are left with only root 2 so 4 by root 2 uh, can be written as 2 root 2 all right plus of 1 so this is what the uh, velocity of the particle uh, we are getting and if we compare it with the option so we can say option b is the right answer to this question so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today